All right, let's talk about something we all rely on, but maybe don't think about much. That invisible, massive network that gets, well, everything to your doorstep. What's wild is that a new kind of intelligence is starting to take the wheel. Okay, let this number sink in for a second. 87%. A report from IBM found that a staggering 87% of supply chain leaders pretty much admit they're flying blind when it comes to predicting and managing disruptions. That is a huge majority, just kind of hoping for the best. So all that uncertainty, it really makes you wonder, right? What if the whole system, I'm talking the warehouses, the trucks, the inventory, what if it could actually think for itself? What if it could see a problem coming and just solve it? No human needed. To really get why this is such a big deal, we have to look at the chaos we're dealing with right now. Because modern supply chains are, well, they're in a constant state of disruption. You know, the whole system is surprisingly fragile. Something happens halfway across the world, a freak storm hits, or heck, even a viral TikTok trend. And bam, you've got these massive ripple effects. And this isn't some once in a blue moon thing. Just this year in 2024, almost 80% of businesses got hit with disruptions. The old way of doing things, it just can't keep up. But right in the middle of all this chaos, something really powerful is starting to emerge. And that, my friends, is the AI agent. So what in the world is an AI agent? Basically, think of it like a super smart software employee. It runs on machine learning and can work all by itself. You give it a mission, right? Like, hey, find the fastest delivery route or make sure we never run out of stock. It then looks at all the live data and just figures out the best way to get it done. No handholding required. And this is where things get really cool. See, traditional automation is, well, it's kind of dumb. It's rigid. It follows a super simple if this, then that script. A surprise traffic jam pops up, the old system just freezes, waiting for a human to tell it what to do. But an AI agent? It's adaptive. It sees the traffic jam, instantly analyzes a dozen other routes, and reroutes the truck on the fly. It's not just following rules, it's actually making smart decisions. And look, this isn't some sci-fi concept. This tech is out there, right now, making a huge impact. Let's dive into some real-world examples. So, where are these agents popping up? Honestly, pretty much everywhere. They're like the central brain in a warehouse, telling robots and people where to go. They're forecasting what you're going to buy next with scary accuracy. They're changing delivery routes mid-trip. They're even telling you a truck needs a new part before it breaks down on the highway. It's the whole shebang. Want to see what this looks like at a massive scale? Let's talk about UPS and their system called Orion. That's short for On-Road Integrated Optimization and Navigation, but really, you can just think of it as the AI brain running their entire delivery fleet. Get this, every single year, Orion helps UPS drivers avoid driving 100 million miles. That's not a typo. By constantly crunching billions of data points, it finds tiny efficiencies that scaled up across their whole fleet save an incredible amount of driving. So what does saving 100 million miles actually mean in dollars and cents? Well, it means they save around $400 million every single year. That's just in fuel and other costs. The efficiency gains are just massive. And it's not just about the money, which is amazing in itself. Cutting all those miles also means they avoid dumping over 100,000 metric tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. So you've got this incredible trifecta, right? It's a win for efficiency, a win for the company's wallet, and a huge win for the environment. Okay, so the UPS story is incredible, for sure. But it's just one example. Let's zoom out and look at the real, tangible benefits that companies of all kinds are starting to see. And when you look at the data, it's pretty obvious why everyone's jumping on board. The number one reason, no surprise, is cutting costs. That's almost half the motivation right there. But look what's right behind it, making fewer mistakes, which means more accuracy, giving customers a better experience, and of course, being better prepared when things go wrong. It's a pretty compelling package. In that point about saving money, it's not just a little here and there. Research from a heavy hitter like McKinsey found that using AI can cut a company's logistics costs by as much as 20%. That's a huge chunk just from being smarter about everything. So, with benefits like that on the table, the next logical question is, okay, how do we actually do this? And the good news is, this isn't some 10-year plan. It's about building this future, like, right now. The roadmap to get there is actually pretty straightforward. You don't try to do everything at once. You start by figuring out your biggest headache. Then you find the right tech and you start small with a pilot project. 
The trick is to plug the AI into the systems you already have so it has data to work with. And the last super important step, you gotta get your team on board, teaching them how to work with these new AI partners. Because that's really the big picture here. We're not just talking about better automation that follows orders. We're talking about a leap to an autonomous future. One where these smart agents are talking to each other and to us to run the whole show. And I absolutely love this way of describing it. Thinking of the future supply chain as a nervous system. It's such a perfect metaphor, right? It's not one giant computer making all the calls. It's this living, breathing network where every piece can sense what's happening, react instantly, and communicate with everything else. That's how you build a system that can take a punch and just keep going. So that really brings us to the final takeaway here. This huge shift, it's not coming soon. It's already happening. The intelligent supply chain is officially here. The tools exist, so I guess the only question that's left is, are you ready?